Flying into Split, it is immediately apparent how beautiful this city would be. Positioned along the Dalmatian coastline, Split is the second largest city in Croatia, with a rich history dating back beyond the 3rd century AD. The best way to start your Split journey is with a walk up Margin Hill for breathtaking views of the town. So we are now in Split, it's our first day and we are going to be exploring all of this. After enjoying the views from the lookout, head back down into the Old Town, take a stroll along the port and enjoy the great food on offer throughout the city. Eating in Split is quite the art form. Gelato stores line the port, pizza stores are also popular and there are plenty of dining options for the hungry sightseer. The problem isn't finding somewhere to eat, but finding the time to taste everything. On a day as hot as today, the best thing is to get a smoothie from these guys. I can't wait to have a taste. Split's rich history is evident when you walk through the old city and admire the ancient buildings and observe how it has grown over the centuries. After a quick food and drink stop, slowly make your way towards the bell tower, whilst admiring the ancient Roman city. Another destination worth visiting, especially for the Game of Thrones fans out there, is Cleis Fortress, which served as the City of Marine in the popular HBO show. In reality, this 3rd century structure has served as a medieval stronghold, a castle, and finally a fortress guarding Dalmatia against the Ottoman invasion in the 16th century. We're in Cleese Fortress, just north of Split. This place is amazing. It's a fortress that dates back to the third century and a lot of it is still actually standing. Definitely worth a little visit. Buses to Cleese Fortress run regularly from the old town in Split. Diocletian's Palace is one of Split's main draw cards. Standing in the palace's courtyard, you can see why it has been recognised as a UNESCO World Heritage Monument. The palace, which took only 10 years to build, and the Cathedral of St Domnius are still standing since 305 AD and are an impressive testament to Roman architecture. It's also another location for Daenerys' storyline in Game of Thrones. Walk through the palace and its cellars and see if you can recognise the scenes. Although I can't officially confirm it, I believe this is another Game of Thrones filming location for season four where Daenerys had to lock up her dragons. It is of course Diocletian's palace and we're in the cellars, so we're underground and it's a very cool place to come and explore while you're in Split. Not only does the palace hold art exhibitions, markets and Game of Thrones scenes, it also has live music and atmosphere. Luxor, situated right in the square of Diocletian's Palace, has live music, cocktails and cushions every night from 8pm. So we're doing a full day island excursion and a visit to the Blue Cave. Um, I'm very excited, I can't wait to see the Blue Cave which is meant to be lit up during the day. And yeah, sailing to us. Tickets for the Blue Cave and Islands tour can be found all along the port and throughout the travel agencies in town. During certain times of the morning, the sun shines through a hole of the grotto and is reflected off the sea floor. 
The water practically glows and lights up the cave a magnificent blue. Due to this natural wonder, the cave is protected and can only be accessed by boats small enough to pass through a tiny entrance. It truly is a breathtaking sight to see that left everyone, including us, speechless and in awe. After seeing the natural phenomenon of the Blue Cave, the tour takes you to a few other islands for lunch, for swimming and sightseeing. Why wouldn't you? The water is crystal clear here and it's beautiful. After a refreshing swim, we're back on the boat to visit Bar Town, where you can wander through the streets of this picturesque town at one's leisure. After finishing up at the beach, we've arrived in Var Town, which is just around the corner from where we were. And first impressions are pretty good. It's a small little quaint town, very clean, very picturesque and beautiful. So we're going to do our normal thing, which is find some ice cream and explore the city. Var is another charming port town worth wandering through and getting lost in. With ice cream, of course. So there you have it, a few of our picks of what to do in Split. Of course, if you can afford to spend longer in Split, do so. We certainly hope to return to Split one day with more time to spend exploring this charming town and its surrounding islands. Check out our full post and more at Traveling.com. Fuel your wonderlust. <laughs>